Good. Well, today is Monday, October 23rd, 2023. Jump date for Tuesday, the 24th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as the portfolio, obviously not a fantastic day. We'll take a look at all that. Uh, I suppose we were due, and knock on wood, we've done amazingly well. I'm not saying it's a brag because I've been in some downturns before, and believe me, it doesn't look nearly this good. But it's definitely a less is more type of environment, and I don't have any regrets about not putting more setups on, believe me. So nothing going into tomorrow, nothing really that much to look at. In fact, we'll take a look at those now. PBF, it's a short. It's okay. It has a lot of support below, so I'm going to pass on that one. The energies, as I would say, quite a bit, in spite of them being relatively strong. Of course, they broke down a little today, but in spite of them being strong, we're seeing lots and lots of stocks looking weak here. Uh, Elf uh, still looks like a potential short if you didn't take the original trade. Here's a coal stock. It, it's pullback, I suppose, deeply enough, but I'd actually feel like it needs a little bit more pullback in here. I know it made it all the way to the 30, but it's got an okay HV. It's a little bit on the thin side, and I'm just not crazy about going after energies now. There's some other coal stocks out there. I think ANR, that's looking a little toppy. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then let's hop out to the overall market. I have a lot to say about that tonight. First of all, ELF, we just talked about. A little bit of a rally there. Off its best levels, though. It still looks like it's in trouble longer term. You know, between the honor your stops just in case. KBH, it, we're in a longer term downtrend, longer term downtrend mode here. Longer term trend following mode is what I'm trying to say. But it's in a longer term downtrend or developing longer term downtrend, I should say. A little bit of a bounce today, but if you squint your eyes, it doesn't look like a whole lot. And so, so far, so good. There, KNF coming back in hard. And you always think, well, geez, why we didn't get out at the top? Well, nobody rings the bell at the top as I often joke. And the reason is, you know, you want to see each position to its fruition because you never know which one's going to really take off. And knock on wood, maybe LFMD could be that. And it's just shy of these multi-year highs. So that's certainly, and obviously a good thing in spite of conditions. And conditions just really are, are ugly. And let's take a look at everything real quick. First of all, let's take a look at the S&P 500. You can see it actually closed that multi-month low. So that's a bit of a bummer. It tried to rally, but then came back in and then ended in the minus column. So that's a bit of a bummer when you can't get a decent bounce from oversold, especially when the VIX is as stretched as it has been lately. That's a little bit of a concern. So we'll have to reevaluate this situation, obviously, on a day-by-day -day basis. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. And let's take a look at the VIX research. You see the VIX did begin to come in a little today. So it looked like the VIX was going to come in and we were going to have the mother of all rallies, but nothing materialized today, obviously. Outside day in the VIX, but you can see it's trying to revert back to the mean a little bit. Still pretty stretched in here at a closing basis right around 10%, but it was obviously much higher than that. So let's keep an eye on that situation. And I still think we are due for a bounce in the overall market, but the fact that it had materialized again is concerning let's take a look at the nasdaq nasdaq composite up a smidge in here but off its best levels as you can see lots of lanyard light between the 50 simple moving average happening there let's take a look at bitcoin real quick here's the futures bitcoin had a bang up day it's been really strong as of late and the et well soon be etf or hopefully soon to be etf gbtc had a good day too. That's a that's a big move for this guy up another buck in here. So it's good to see a little flight to safety, or if you want to call it that. But it's good to see Bitcoin actually doing well in spite of stocks, because usually the two stocks, the S&P 500 and Bitcoin, are positively correlated. I'll throw a chart in tomorrow night. We'll take a look at that correlation. But obviously, Bitcoin is outperforming stocks. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that. You can see that the also you can see that the Russell broke down today right at these multi-year lows down almost one percent or over three quarters percent I should say not so many lows here for support and then obviously the next support is way down here so this is the ugliness that has to be concerned but then you could pretty much look anywhere and see plenty of ugliness remember I said the same is hey right at all-time highs but let's let's kiss each other just yet until we clear this prior peak notice that we've come way back in already so not the end of the world just yet but this looks toppy in here and if we start seeing some shorts possibly without a lot of support below we'll start going after 
some of those areas. If As you go through these lists, I'm trying to figure out a way to not go through everything, but sector after sector after sector, banging out these new multi-month lows. And like I said recently, I will show you more and more of ETFs you can trade based on some of this action, but there's nothing that's really set up going into tomorrow as far as that's concerned. But manufacturing, you can see multi-month lows pushing into support. M and C, tiny bit of a bounce, but top remains in place. There, retail below the 200-day moving average, and we've been watching the 50-day moving average quite a bit, and a lot of these areas have pushed it into their 200-day moving average and beyond. Take a look at transport. You can see it cut through that 200 like butter, Landry like below that. Now, the list goes on and on. You can see semis actually came all the way down to the 200-day today, bounced a little bit to end in Flatsville, and they were up nicely earlier in the day, but didn't sold off fairly hard. So that looks questionable at best, and really, the list goes on and on as far as things looking ugly. Now, uranium is getting a bit of a bid in here. I don't see any reason to go after anything. I suppose if you wanted some exposure, this ETF to spot ETF looks okay. It's for the miners. Uh, I wouldn't get too excited about it just yet. It's just, I don't really feel like just because there's only one thing to do, we should rush out and do it unless it really, really, really looked good. So I think that's it for tonight's more and more ugliness. We're still oversold in here. The VIX has started to correct a little bit, so we'll see how everything begins to shake out. The VIX could normalize at higher levels, and then we'll have to wait for it to get stretched again before looking to play some sort of reversal. I think that's it for tonight. If you have any questions, you know the routine. Thank you so much. We'll talk tomorrow.